Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Autism Hope uh, Library. I'm so excited. Okay, we are on location today. This is so exciting for us. And we're here with Justin Bitten, the CEO of 101 CVD. Hi Justin, thanks for being here. Hey, thanks for uh, driving up the road on the old 101 to see us up here in Ventura, California and, and checking us out at our new beach location. So I'm really happy to have you here. Can't wait to answer some questions and to show us kind of behind the scenes of what this whole raw CBD is all about. Well, that's what I'm excited about is, you know, so many of us, including myself, had no idea when you would talk about raw CBD, I didn't really know what that meant. So I know today we're going to dive in and we're going to not only get to see the plant, we're going to get to see the seed, we're going to get to understand what makes your product so amazing and why it's helping so many. But before we do, you know, why are you so passionate, Justin, for those that haven't seen some of your other videos? You know, why are you so passionate to help the autism community? So um, our son was diagnosed on the severe range. Uh, this was about five or six years ago now. And, um, you know, we were like so many families that when you get a severe diagnosis with your child, you're unprepared. You have no idea what to expect. You've got, uh, you know, you, when you, when you first hear the word autism, um, you know, so many things go through your head, you know, fear and overwhelm and I don't know what I'm going to do and are they going to be able to take care of themselves and all these types of things. And so, and there's depression and everything that everyone, all the parents go through, so many of us that when you get a severe diagnosis. So we were looking all over the place, you know, Dr. Google and research and everything. We were trying different doctors and therapists and and uh, we had saw some progress, um, but we just didn't know. And this was before we had found such a great organization like yours, you know, with Autism Hope Alliance. There just wasn't a lot of information out there. And so we finally came across some information about some research. Uh, Dr. Raphael Mishulam, in fact, was the one who did it. And uh, it showed that CBD helped with seizures and helped with epilepsy with children. And so I was like, well, you know, if it helps with epilepsy and seizures, why not see what it, what it could do for autism? Because there really wasn't much research with CBD at the time. So we went out there, we jumped through the hoops that we needed to jump through, and we um, didn't quite see uh, the results that we were after. And I was trying to understand more about the CBD that we were buying and trying. And then I was wondering, I was like, well, why is everyone heating this plant as I learned more and more about it? They were heating the plant, they were isolating the plant, they were processing the plant, they were doing all these things to this beautiful, wonderful plant. And I understand if you want to get high, you need to put fire to it and heat it. If you want to get healthy, holistically, whole plant-based medicine, you just eat it. And so I figured, well, what the heck? I was a cannabis farmer. I understood how to grow plants and, and all of that. So I grew one. Um, it was actually a strand called Suzy Q. And I grew the plant and did a simple cold extraction, which is basically like juicing the plant. And uh, my son was at a pumpkin patch. He was having a horrible time screaming and kicking and hiding under a bench and hands over the ears and just this horrible experience while all the other kids are playing and having fun. And um, I just pulled out a tincture out of my pocket, you know, similar to this. And I just gave him a, a, an oral, um, you know, dropper full. It was actually my wife that gave it to him. And literally, she says two minutes later, I say five, he was out picking pumpkins, like snapped out of the, the tantrum and he's having a blast and having fun. And we were like, you know, did you see that? And the grandparents were there and everyone was there. And we were like, oh my God, like this, that's some, finally we saw a CBD product that worked. And so you fast forward five years ahead, we've been featured on American medical journals uh, out of Columbia University. We've had the, you know, we've got from an ATEC from 148 down to 13, and uh, it's been our mission to pay it forward, to educate about this miracle plant, to share the same products, uh, the same oils that we made for our child. Um, we even give out seeds and, and teach people how to, to grow it in their backyard. And so today, I just wanted to talk more about the plant and, you know, answer some questions from Kristen, and so people can understand more and more about this miracle plant because it really is just like growing tomatoes. It's just that when we consume this plant in its raw, natural form, there's so much going on in the plant that speaks to our bodies perfectly, uh, that helps our bodies find balance and homeostasis. So 
there's an answer for you, how I got excited and, and you know, we're so happy to be, that you're here and so happy to answer some questions. Well, what I love, well, first of all, your story is so inspirational and I know so many that are watching right now are, you know, overjoyed for your son's success. So, because I always feel like if one kiddo can do better, then all of our kiddos can do better. Um, I love that I can actually see the plant. I know this is silly and I'm sure some of you watching have to be in the same boat as me. I've never seen a plant. Like, I had no clue what a CBD, hemp, whatever we call it, plant looks like. So do we call it CBD? Do we call it hemp? What is this thing called? So again, this is uh, the cannabis plant, Cannabis Sativa L. And, you know, there's lots of names. It's a very misunderstood plant. But cannabis is kind of like dogs, right? And there's different kinds of dogs. So there's German Shepherds and Labradors. Well, cannabis can come in different varieties. There's the hemp version, which is very, very low THC, very, very high CBD. And then there's the marijuana version, which is very, very high THC, which is the only psychoactive part of the plant. And the marijuana has very, very low CBD. So this plant is called the cannabis plant. It's cannabis sativa L is the long word. And when it has less than 0.3% THC, it's considered in our country hemp. And so that's just a government name, just like marijuana is a government name. All these plants are cannabis and it's all depends upon what's inside of the plant. So this plant is a cannabis plant, call it hemp. This particular variety is our own, it's a gelato blend um, that we use. It's a CBD gelato plant, CBDA. And so that's what she looks like. She's, you can't smell through here, but it's a wonderful citrus cones. And uh, we're going to show you how we make our juice every morning. And um, yeah, I'm excited to share this with everybody because this is exactly what our products are, how they're made. We, we pick these plants, you know, we harvest the plants just like this. So we'll take off like a little flower here like that. And that little flower you can clip off the leaves or leave the leaves. It's totally up to you. That's about, about one or two little buds or flowers is what they're called. Then you grab your blender, my thing prepared with ice, and you would literally just put this in here. Now for, for this is what I do. For my son, we use freshly squeezed orange juice and kale and carrots and apples and a little bit of probiotics. And we do a freshly squeezed juice and we'll put this in his juicer and make it. For me, what I do is I'll take a little bit of this uh, Nutiva. This is, I use a couple different ones, but it's organic uh, hemp seed protein powder. And uh, this is a chocolate flavor, which you can get at Amazon or Trader Joe's. And I put about this much in, in you know, a little extra protein, never hurt anybody. And um, so that goes in there with the plant. And then I like to use either hemp seed milk or this one's organic almond milk. And then I just put in, you know, enough to make everything float. And you fill that right up to about so high. And sometimes you can put, I'll put peanut butter in there or a banana. And then you just put it right on the blender, blend it up. And wouldn't you know, comes out perfectly as a nice little protein shake to get started. And that's about mm, 50 to 75 milligrams of CBDA that are in there. And I do that every morning. My son does a little bit more than that um, with the other juices that he makes. And he does two juices, one in the morning and one in the afternoon. So that's the raw CBD way that we do it. And now you talk about something called cold extraction, which mm -hmm. makes your process a little different than others. Can we talk yeah. about that? I know yeah. that you're juicing it, but let's let those that are watching understand that. So basically cold extraction, again, it, what cold extraction means, it's, it's like making freshly squeezed orange juice. You never go above 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So you never actually heat the plant up. And so if you, as long as the temperatures are lower than 100, uh, and we use these, there's different methods, but there's basically, it is just like cold press. So it's a big press that keeps the temperatures under 100. And when those, when those temperatures are under 100, it locks and keeps all of the fresh enzymes in every part of the plant together. And it keeps all the cannabinoids and all the flavonoids and, and all of these, I know these are confusing terms, but there's 512 different pieces of this plant. And when you juice it or you cold extract it, you get all of it, just like freshly squeezed orange juice, and it communicates perfectly with our body, which Dr. Ethan Russo has, talks about, it's called the entourage effect. And when you have all of those different pieces of the plant working together, like a beautiful New York symphony, it communicates perfectly with our body and helps our body find what's called homeostasis. So cold extraction means you don't heat it up, you basically use a cold press, and then out comes a honey-like substance when this plant is squeezed, and then we just add a little bit of that hemp seed oil in our products. And uh, you know, based on the flavorings, a little bit of organic cold extracted stevia, no calories. 
Yeah. And uh, people love it. And uh, yeah, that's the difference with our products. And Dr. Raphael Meshulam also came out last year and told the world that CBDA is actually 1,000 times more effective than CBD isolate. And so CBD isolate is this. So they take this beautiful plant and they cook it and they heat it and they process it and they isolate just the CBD and it turns into this white powdery substance that kind of looks like fake sugar. So you take this beautiful plant and you turn it into this white powder that a computer will tell you that this is CBD, but our bodies and our brains and our receptors have no idea what this stuff is. It just slips right off of our receptors and through our system without having any real benefits. In fact, there's been some research that CBD isolate, we used to make fun of it in the natural foods and supplements industry because it was like, oh my God, who would ever use that junk? kind of like aluminum siding salesmen or what have you. But then there was some research that came out that it actually has been clogging people's CB1 receptors and CB2 receptors. So it's an, actually a net negative on some of the research we're seeing. So a lot of people are starting to learn about that, but that's why so many people will see differences in pricing on CBD. They'll be like, well, how can this one be 2,000 milligrams and only $20? And this one over here can be 500 milligrams and it can be $40. Well, all CBD, as you can see, is not created equal. So what we always, we have a mission here and what we want to do is we want to teach people and educate people about this miracle plant. We have a podcast called the Miracle Plant Podcast, which Kristen was on. And we just want more people to understand and answer questions and share stories like our sons and like Kristen's that this miracle plant has helped our bodies get healthy and strong and heal. So um, yeah, that's it. That's our difference. I love that. So basically, guys, what he's saying is you just take the plant and you juice it. And if, you know, you can't juice it yourself, that's what 101 CBD is here for. So basically, if that, the next best thing to juicing is that bottle. Is that correct? Absolutely. So our products are made basically the same thing I just showed you. And like right here is a, is a nice big bag of freshly cut, frozen, flash frozen uh, hemp. And uh, the same gelato variety that we use. And that's it. I mean, if you can grow it in your backyard, great. And then do the same thing I did. Uh, cut it when the flowers are big enough and then throw it in your freezer and it can stay good for six months to 18 months, fine. And you just pick two or three little buds, like as much as I showed you, about that much. Throw it into your juice and then start with that and see how that goes. If you don't have a green thumb um, or you know you can't keep plastic plants alive, that's what our products are for. Um, it's the same thing. It's got all the live enzymes. It's got all the 512 parts of the plant. We use hemp seed oil as the carrier oil. We keep it all within the plant. And obviously we've had incredible success with our family, with so many families, and we just want to help people understand more about this plant and try it. Uh, even on this link, we can have another link as well that, that you can try it for free. Just pay for the shipping and the handling and you can try the product for yourself. If you have any questions, just let us know. We're here. We have free consultation. If you go to our website, click on that. Do a Zoom, do a phone call, whatever you want. And you can meet uh, with our head of research and development. She's actually my mom. <laughs> and um, she's been on some of these as well. And, um, there, you know, there's so many people that come to us, whether it's Parkinson's or Alzheimer's or uh, MS or cancer, or obviously autism, you know, chronic pain, rheumatoid arthritis, neuropathy. And again, it's not that the plant is healing per se. What the plant is doing is boosting our own body. The endocannabinoid system is what the CBD and the cannabinoids talk to, and it boosts our body. The endocannabinoid system will help other parts of our body, like our immune system, our digestion. And the biggest thing that people notice right away is inflammation. And if you can get the inflammation to come down, our bodies can operate better. And again, homeostasis is kind of like that runner's high or getting a good night's sleep. It allows the body to heal. When you consume this plant the way it was meant to be, which is raw and whole plant, it allows our body to find that homeostasis, to find that balance. So you can, you can basically, your body wants to win the fight. Sometimes it just needs a little extra ammunition to do that. And you talked to, you know, you showed the, when you cut it and then you freeze it. Why do yeah. we do that? Is that just to keep it in its the best state as possible? Yeah, so it has everything that's in the plant. You want to lock it in. So you want to lock all of the live enzymes. You want to lock everything about that plant. You want to keep it in that state. 
just as it was right the second that it was picked. Just like if you were going to get a fresh fish or, or flash frozen, you want to lock everything in, in that, all the nutrients and everything that the plant has, you lock it right in that moment in time, you freeze it, you flash freeze it, you throw it in your freezer, and it's good for months on end. Um, if, you, if you were to let it dry, then you start to, the, there's certain things that happen with, it's called decarboxylization. And so things that, that turn to CBDA, which is the raw version of the CBD, CBDA, the A stands for acid, uh, it, will, it will basically degrade with light, heat, or time. So if you, leave the, if you cut the plant like we did below and leave it out in the sunshine or just anywhere, it's going to start to turn from CBDA to CBD, and you're going to start to lose some of those live enzymes and all the wonderful part of the whole plant. And so you talked a little bit about the seed. Can we see the seed again, Justin? Yep. So the seed, how long does it take? Once you put that in the soil, how many months does it take to make it look like a plant like that? So there's some seeds here and it will have some videos. We do have some blogs and videos on our website that you can watch and we'll show you how to do it. But from a seed like this to a plant like this, we can do it in about three months. And how many seeds do you need? Like that whole bag? Or well, I mean, every this is just one seed that turns into oh. this. So sometimes you can, uh, you know, plant, especially in the beginning, you, you probably isn't going to go great right out of the gate unless you really do have a green thumb. But, you know, most people, we send out like six seeds for free. So with that, if you try the, the, the free bottle, just pay for shipping and handling, we will throw in six seeds if you request it. Just put it in the notes. And we have videos and blogs, and it's not that hard to do. And we can do another video that just goes through literally how to do it, or you can go to our YouTube channel. But, yeah, one little seed like that can turn into a plant like this which will last you about two or three months. And if you've got, you know, five or six plants in the backyard, you know, there's they, one of the funny jokes that I have to give credit to Doug Fine, who wrote the book, uh, American Hemp Farmer. He's a great guy. He goes, uh, you know, growing cannabis is the most fun you can have outside the bedroom. <laughs> and so it really is, you develop a relationship with the plant, you're growing the plant, and, and this plant in return of all the love that you give it, and you know, the TLC and the water and the light and the nutrients, um, you know, it communicates perfectly with our body and it helps our body find that homeostasis and balance. So it's just a real symbiotic, wonderful relationship. I love that. And so basically when you guys, you juice that, does it have like, um, kind of like a earthy kind of taste or is anything you're putting in your juice, like you used almond milk mm -hmm. and protein powder, does it kind of hide that or is it a, a good taste? You can taste, taste it a little bit, but again, every plant's a little bit different. They have these terpenes that have different smells, which have different tastes. Some are more piney, like a pine tree. Some are more citrusy, like citrus. Um, you can taste it a little bit, but when you start to understand all the, the, the amazing powers of this miracle plant, you your body starts to almost crave it because you know that that's doing all that 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 taste and those terpenes are helping heal your body and so the terpenes actually which make the plant smell a certain way um, they've also been proven to be therapeutic so there's things like smell like lavender which can actually help our bodies calm down and relax and they're also finding out that the terpenes can be delivery systems so the delivery system of the terpene, that's the way it smells when we take the plant, actually delivers it into different parts of the brain. So it can take that CBDA, that lavender smelling terpene, to the part of the brain that relaxes you, and that's where the CBD goes to relax you. So when you're making plants for like our product, which is our Chill X product, which is very popular for stress and anxiety, we make sure that it has those, those, those calming terpenes in the plant so it delivers that raw CBDA right to the part of the brain that helps relax the brain and that's what makes it work even better. Now we've seen full spectrum in other products. Does that, and I see your sign there says full spectrum versus mm -hmm. isolate. Mm -hmm. Does full spectrum mean that they aren't heating it up or does it just mean they're using the whole plant? Full spectrum is kind of, is it's not like an established term. Um, you know, someone like, you know, the FDA would be the one that would regulate the term um, full spectrum. Well, they're not even really regulating CBD at this point, just other than epidiolex. Um, they're kind of just holding back and waiting to see. So what full spectrum means to me, and in general, if you look it up at Webster's Dictionary, is the full spectrum of light, you know, and so that's every possible shade. So if you look at this plant, if it's a full spectrum, it has all the cannabinoids in them, all the CBDA and all the terpenes and all the flavonoids, you remove nothing. Well, that's what we call whole plant, whole plant full spectrum, because full spectrum can mean it has a little bit of CBD and a little bit of THC, and that's considered full spectrum. 
because no one's really regulating that term. So we say whole plant, true, full spectrum. Use the whole plant when you're extracting it. Get, take nothing out, don't heat it, don't process it. Just leave it exactly how it was meant to be grown for millions of years. And you talked a little bit about the name of that plant. Uh -huh. I know that a lot of people are still kind of learning that all CBD is not created equal. Mm -hmm. So does that also mean the name of your plant, your strain, I uh -huh. guess, is yeah. that make a difference? It certainly does. Uh, so most people, what they look for is, first and foremost, for it to be considered hemp, it has to have less than 0.3 THC. So first and foremost, you have to hit that marker. Then after that, then people want to see how high they can get the CBD. This plant's around 10% CBDA, the raw version of CBD. Um, then the next step is, well, what are the terpene profiles? Like we were talking about. So if the plant kind of smells like a lavender, then uh, it can be a relaxing, calming. And there's other terpenes that actually help, like with uh, beta carophylline that help with pain and inflammation. The way the plant smells, again, will help deliver those, you know, CBDA and CBGA and all the other cannabinoids to the part of the brain and part of the receptors that are controlling the calmness or the pain and inflammation. So first step is make sure that the THC is less than 0.3, get certified seeds for that. Second step is obviously you want a good high profile of CBDA. Now some people are doing CBGA as well. Um, which we also have as well. And then, then the next profile is going to be terpene. So there's hundreds of different plants, you know, and the, the greatest thing is that we're really starting to understand our own DNA um, code and we can literally start to have this plant, you know, fill in the gaps for our body. So if we predeposition uh, to have, you know, uh, diabetes or rheumatoid arthritis or what have you, um, we can actually grow these plants that are gonna help fight those specific ailments. So I think in a year or two, we'll see lots of people, lots of different plants that are made just for either specific ailments or at some point, maybe two or three, four years down the road, we'll have specific plants that are basically grown just for me. Like, hey, that's you know Justin's plant. So all of the things that maybe my, my DNA might have some shortcomings or maybe my whatever have is just not quite in place, we can actually grow a cannabis plant that's suited exactly to my DNA. And that's all coming with ingenuity in our country. And that's why I think also so many people that will say, oh, I tried CBD. I didn't really notice a difference. It could be that they haven't found the right plant and the right extraction process, correct? Absolutely. So every strain is different. Every extraction is different. Um, you know, we highly recommend that you, you try products. You make sure you look at their COAs. Certi uh, certificate of analysis to make sure that you know exactly what's in the product. All of our products have COAs on the website. Again, look for reviews, ask friends and family. Sometimes you just have to try products. Again, we're a .org here and we want to give the product away. We want to give the seeds away. We want to give the education away. And we have, you know, amazing, you know, compassionate discounts that nobody who has any issue will be suffering when they come to us. We'll make sure one way or the other that you could at least try the product. Um, and we also have, like I said, great compassionate discounts as well. I know with AHA, we have AHA 50 half off for anybody that's seeing this video. Just type that in and you'll get half off for life. I love that. And so um, I know you have a few products I thought might be good for people to understand. You have Alleviate, mm -hmm. um, you have a Boost, and you have Chill X. Can we just briefly kind of touch on each of those of, you know, why, what makes Alleviate Alleviate, what makes Boost Boost, and what makes Chill X Chill X? Absolutely. So this one here is the uh, Tropical Bliss, which is my favorite flavor. Alleviate X. The Alleviate X, all of our products are made with the exact same CBDA raw cold extracted formula, just kind of like what we saw here with the blender. So the only difference with the Alleviate is we put in a little white willow bark, an organic infusion, and everything else stays the same. So the white willow bark is kind of like nature's aspirin, helps with pain and inflammation. Next one is the Boost. Now the Boost is different because we have a little American ginseng organically infused in there. However, we're growing another plant. So we grow this plant with the CBDA, but we also have another plant that has high CBGA. Now CBGA is the mother cannabinoid. So as that seedling comes out of the ground, it comes out of the ground as CBGA. And then based on the genetics of the plant, it can go to the left and become CBDA, which is our hemp plants, or it can go to the right based on genetics and become THCA, which is our marijuana plant. So 
We recently had some breakthroughs in genetics that we can keep the plant as it's growing from CBGA just to stay as CBGA. So we've infused, um, you know, a little bit of, uh, you know, this is our base product plant here, our high CBDA plant, but then we also use about 4% of our CBGA plant, and that's about 400% more than our other products that have a 1% CBG in them, CBGA, and this one has 4% CBGA. So it's really, really new. It's a brand new cannabinoid. There's a lot of excitement. I use the boost for, for energy, for focus, for mental clarity, uh, get you going in the morning. If you're having like a, if you had too big of a lunch, you can help with that. If you have to stay up late to study or do whatever, people will use that as well for that. So that's our boost uh, X, which is right here. So that one has the CBGA, the 4% CBGA in that with the little American ginseng. And then the last one is our Chill X. Again, my Tropical Bliss is my favorite flavor. That one has a little of the um, Passion Flower, which is a little purple organic infusion that we use. It's got this high CBDA cold extracted with a little bit of stevia. Passion Flower is kind of like taking a chamomile tea. Very similar flowers, just relaxing and calming. And people use that for stress and anxiety and uh, helps them sleep at night as well. You can certainly take it during the day, um, but if you take it before you go to bed, it helps people go to sleep and get a whole night's rest is what we hear all the time from people. So those are our, our top tinctures that, uh, that people love, and we would love for you to, to try them and give us some feedback and see uh, how they work best for you. And I know that you recommend people to hold it under their tongue, if they can, for five to seven minutes for the best absorption rate. For those kids that can't do that, what do you recommend? Or so, kids of all ages, I should say. Yeah, I mean, you want to do the best you can because you have sublingual glands underneath your tongue. And sublingually, it goes right into your bloodstream. Uh, up to 70% absorption for seven minutes under the tongue. Anything that goes through digestion gets broken down to an absorption rate around 10%. Stomach acid, kidneys, uh, liver, they all break it down, which is great if you're just trying to break down food, but it's not good if you're trying to absorb all of the, of the power of this miracle plant through these cannabinoids like CBD and CBG. So under the tongue is the primary way to do it. If you can't do it, you're gonna have to obviously up the dosage to about you know seven times as much and put it in an organic, uh, you know, freshly squeezed orange juice. We use celery, we use kale, we use apple, we use um, something else, carrots, uh, I said kale, and a little bit of probiotics. And so we, we put about 200 milligrams worth of our CBD oil in each juice, morning and afternoon. That's what we do. Uh, my son still gets it every day. He loves it. Uh, we're teaching him how to do it himself. He's eight years old now. Um, I, like I said, I use that little bit of flour. I'm closer to 50 to 75 milligrams. And then I take our CBD oil too, uh, to supplement it. So I'm usually around 100 milligrams a day. So if you can do it under the tongue, great. If you can't, just add a little bit more and put it in the juice. I love that. Well, I feel so like amazed by seeing all this. I, I, this is my first time for everybody watching. I've never seen a plant in real life, so I'm real excited about that. I know many of you guys um, have to be as excited as I am. So thank you so much, Justin, for taking this time. What message do you want to leave with families? Um, you know, obviously, let them know your website as well. Sure. I mean, we're 101cbd.org. But again, we're going to have a link um, somewhere here on the email or the show notes that you can go and try the product for free. You can use the promo code AHA50 for 50% off for life. Again, we, we were praying for a miracle and we found this miracle plant. It helped heal our son along with you know, good nutrition and, and you know, therapy that we feel like it's a moral obligation to pay it forward. So we want people to just try it and you're gonna have questions, and all CBD is not created equal. We believe this is the way to best honor the plant, to best preserve the plant, to unlock the true full potential of the plant, is to consume it the way it was grown. If you wanna get high, find the marijuana and heat it. If you wanna get healthy, find the CBD and eat it. So that's our message, we just wanna pay it forward. We're looking to have at least a billion people uh, be exposed to either the plant, the products, the seeds, the videos, the education by the year 2025. And we thank you, Kristen, for coming out and bringing all of your equipment. And uh, we just hope that we answered some questions. If you have more questions, shoot an email to info at 101cbd.org. We'll be happy to answer any questions. We do ship internationally. We even, you know, we'll, you know, we'll pay the difference to get it over there overseas. Um, every new country, we put another pin on the map. So if you're, uh, I think 
we have we, we're really doing well in Latin America, but Asia we haven't sent too many over there. So please reach out to us with any questions, and we just hope that you get to uh, try this miracle plant and have the same success we did. Thank you so much, Justin, for being here. And thank you, everyone, for watching. And again, remember, if you want to get healthy, this is the plant that you're going to look for. You're not looking to get high. You're looking to get healthy. So thank you so much, Justin, and thank you to everyone else. Until next time, bye, guys.